So I met with a client today who was, uh, who's using our digital workflow productivity system. And uh, initially their concern was one of their teams, uh, they were worried the dashboards weren't working because they didn't have any jobs coming up on them. And uh, upon looking into it, it was uh, the fact that they, they didn't have any work. It was The dashboard was displaying correctly. Uh, and the team is just absolutely nailing it. So that's, I mean, that's great. Of course, the team was concerned that they thought, oh, no, our work's not coming up. But, you know, every flow has, has constraints in it. Uh, so obviously it wasn't their team. It's someone upstream from them that has the, uh, the capacity constrained resources. So they, they, as the work comes in, they're nailing it, they're sending it off to the next department, and it's, uh, it's all going pretty smoothly, which is actually fantastic. It's exactly where they should be. But given that they had this uh, spare capacity and they were a bit, uh, they, were, they were looking for work really, uh, we said, well, why, why, don't you, why don't you help out the, uh, the other department? And you know, if there's a team in, in a different department that does essentially the same role. Well, why don't you uh, give them a bit of spare capacity? Because I, I guess they, you know, they don't have the same concerns yet. They're not at this level. And they said, oh, oh yeah, well, you know, we don't want to help with their uh, performance. What? Why, why, why not? Oh, well, um, well, part of the way that, you know, that we do things here is uh, our, our companies, you know, we're, we're run like indivi individual, our company runs departments like individual little divisions um, and uh, the, the leaders have a lot of ownership over that. Okay, yep. Uh, so we have uh, Department of the Year and, and a bunch of measures around this. So, you know, we've, we want to be Department of the Year. We've obviously worked really hard to, to get to this point where, you know, we're, we're doing really well and, and uh, so you don't want to help out your other department because you want to win Department of the Year. So you've got what appears to be friendly competition that's actually competing with yourself, your, your own company. Uh, well, uh, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, we yet we yet to have a meeting with the, the people that instigated this uh, this rule, but it'll be interesting to, to see their, their take on it. But it's just one of those performance indicators one of those kpis that you've got to keep an eye on is it seems great on the surface yeah we'll have a bit of friendly competition in our company uh we'll have people focus on it but you don't want i mean if you think of a sports team you want a bit of friendly competition at practice time but when it comes to game day you want don't want oh no i'm not going to pass it to him because that will increase his score no bugger that i need to be player of the day you don't want that going on so it's uh the, the policies and measures you put in it's uh, can have huge influences on behavior and not necessarily the behaviours you expect to uh, to happen. So that's that's something that we we we're going to need to work on, and something that uh, people should look for in their businesses is: Do I have any of these measures that are actually causing people to do the wrong thing?